Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to work on part two of the 2JZ Swap Jeep Cherokee. So I'll show you what I got. I bought a 2JZ, it was VVTi, out of a 2001 Lexus GS300, which has an A650E. And everything on the internet says the A340, you just take the input shaft and the front pump, and it'll just go right in there in the AW4. I can't find anything on whether an A650 works the same. So we went ahead and took all this stuff apart, and just, it's the same thing. The only difference, the only reason you really need to swap it is uh, I think the pump is the same. The stator is probably probably the same, the same spline count. But the input shaft spline count is different from the AW4 to the Lexus. I think it was 26 spline and 20 spline. So we went ahead and pulled it apart. The A650 has three clutches up front. The AW4, if you can see that, <clears throat> it has four. So I already, I already took the input shaft out of the AW4 and put it in the A650. You gotta hold your mouth right, but it goes in there just fine. Other than that, I don't see any difference. The pump is the exact same. The only thing I see is the spline count. So anyone else looking to do this, you can take the guts out of the A650E and put them in the AW4. So that part's solved. I can use the factory flex plate and everything else. The only thing I see having an issue right now is this is where the shifter bolts up for the Jeep. And the Lexus has a cable from the back, so there's nowhere for it to bolt to. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do about that yet, but we'll figure that out later. Right now we'll just get the engine in. I'm not going to get too much into how to take it apart. But inside the bell housing there's four 14 millimeters, two 17 millimeters, and then the bell housing comes off. This is all 12 millimeters. Two of them are threaded with, I don't remember what size, but you thread some bolts in there. And then you can pull the pump out. It didn't take a whole lot of effort. Looking at the pumps, we checked. I, I counted 38 on both of these, so this is the same. These bushing IDs may be different. I highly doubt they made those different. It just wouldn't make sense. So we're gonna start putting all of the A650E stuff in the AW4. All right. All right, that's all the way in. Now grab the pump. The one, if you're looking at the trans, the one on the left. That one's not sensitive, you just pick it up. Oh, for a guide. you grab me a half inch ratchet? It's in the box in the middle of the floor. 
where everything is, just like it should be. It's a big ass half inch ratchet. Not a wrench. Big ratchet. It's probably 10 to 12, 10 inches long. Yeah. Uh, not that one. There's a smaller one. Just big enough to make you jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's a torque spec. I'm sure this is good enough. the bell housing on well let's rinse it out bell housing please sir uh... god it's still greasy on the inside oh yeah it's disgusting it's like a yeah that's future me's problem still turns there's a torque converter over there on that side can you grab it no over there where my fingers pointing oh. that way opposite direction opposite direction is that what this is yep big round thing yep. oh don't no, no. tip, it, tip it the other way tip it the other way Fluid. Yeah, now, now, now it's on you probably. A little bit. Oh god, it got warm. That's the first time it got covered in fluid, I know. Let's 
find out I put the input shaft out of the AW4 right back into it like a dumbass. We'll find out I put the, the same input shaft back in it. There we go, it's in. Hell yeah. Now the engine will bolt to it. Well, that's it for this video. So it's really not that hard to get a 2J in your Jeep. You could also swap the 4 liter into your Lexus. Thank you for watching.